with all the building going on around here, there's a lot of tree debris going out to the uh, out to the dump, and and of course the uh, blueberry plants utilize pine mulch, originally pine bark mulch, but pine mulch is, does the job, and uh, getting it cost effectively lately has been hard to do. And uh, as I said, there's a lot of building going on in our area, quite a bit. So we've been able to uh, bring tree debris in and basically segregate the pine and mulch it. We've got our hands on a mulcher and everything else. So we grind up our own mulch and put it out in the field. And uh, so we're repurposing that, recycling that tree debris that's going out either to the dump or to wherever anybody will take it, which you know a lot of guys are probably doing the same thing, recycling and making mulch out of it and selling it out for different products. But our usage is specific and everything else. Pine, pine mulch, you know, pine bark mulch, pine mulch provides uh, the acidity that blueberry plant, plants need and desire. It puts them in, you know, four and a half, four to five range on the pH scale. And uh, that's what they need to live in and survive in. And, uh, you know, you put it out initially and you've got to redo it all the time. It's one, probably one of the biggest single expenses a blueberry farm has to deal with, you know. And, so we've kind of, like I said, we've been able to utilize what's going on around around us and, and bring the tree debris in and, and go ahead and recycle it and put it back out in our fields. Um, my daughters that are working now are, you know, basically running everything with my guidance and so on and so forth. But uh, Hunter and her older sister, Megan, were out here working when we initially uh, planted everything over 20 years ago. and. Michaela, who's the youngest, is, is out here working now. She was a baby, and the other sister, Zoe, who's in the Navy, stayed and watched her. So the girls got to work from an early age, working the farm and everything else, and developing it and, uh, and learning it. And now, like I was saying, Hunter and Michaela, they're pretty much running everything. Hunter does, manhandles the, the paperwork side, because there's a lot of it when it comes to food safety and and record keeping and everything else. And, uh, and Michaela is the one out in the field doing the work, running the tractors. And basically we're looking at, uh, we're hoping for the first of April, but you know, follow us on the Facebook page and you'll know when we're, we'll keep you up to date as the fruit's developing and when we'll have ripe fruit to pick. Um, this year, my daughters have set up uh, some food trucks for the weekends and you know, different stuff of that nature. So uh, there'll be some photo opportunity type stuff and, and different things. And uh, we hope that you all come out, bring your beautiful time for the family to just get outside and pick some fresh fruit and enjoy the day. Come out and join us. We appreciate the support on our family farm, Margo's Blueberry Farm.